Hi, if you embed uh, flash files in PowerPoint, run them as animations, and want them to advance to the next slide in the PowerPoint deck automatically at the end of that animation, uh, this is just a quick tutorial how to do it. So I've just put three slides together in PowerPoint 2007, and in slide two, I've just embedded a flash file. It's actually not embedded, it's linked, because 2007 doesn't support embedded flash files as uh, previous versions of PowerPoint did. Anyway, if you want to know how to do that, just Google it. There's a thousand different tutorials. Um, but if I just fire up PowerPoint, you'll see this is just a really simple uh, flash animation. It's just moving a, a, a shape, in this case, across the flash file, and it's looping. What I'd like it to do is, at the end of this sequence, just actually move to, to slide three. So this is how you do it. Uh, if you go into your Flash authoring tool, I'm just using Flash, you could use Swishmax. Um, you'll see here I've got a 100 frame timeline, and at uh, frame 100, you just go and put an action setting in. I've just grayed this out to save me uh, typing it. So it's just an FS command, and using next as the, uh, the command to be sent. Uh, so if we just go ahead and export that back to where the original Flash file is, it's just there. So close that down. And if I just go ahead and open the right PowerPoint slide, if you go to the slide where the flash file is embedded, in this case it's slide two, if you right click on the flash file and go to view code, and you need to add uh, a visual basic macro. And you just simply copy this text. Um, it's just an FS command listener in, uh, in PowerPoint, so it will listen for that function to be fired from Flash and then perform the go to next slide action. So I'll just close that down. So if I come back here and run it, and go to slide two, you'll see the Flash animation run, and hopefully, voila, at <laughs> the end, it fires and goes to slide three, and that's it. Thanks very much.